A friend of mine in a rock band here in New York recently asked me and another friend to show up at his concert wearing a horse mask. Needless to say, this generated quite a bit of interest. And this got us all thinking about idioms involving a horse. In this American English pronunciation video, we'll go over some of those idioms. Would you believe we came up with almost 20 phrases and idioms that use the word horse or somehow reference horses? And I'm sure there are more. Get off your high horse! Get off your high horse! That's a perfect one! Lori! Stop horsing around! Ooh, I like These that. are you have so many idioms! Yeah, I'm cheating. Get off your high horse. To be on a high horse is to have an attitude of arrogance, of self-righteousness. Get off your high horse means stop being so arrogant. You have a couple options with the T in get. You can either make it a flap T, connecting it to the word off, get off, get off. Or if you're really emphasizing and going to make a pause, you can make it a stop T, get off. Get off your high horse. Stop horsing around. Horsing around is rough or rowdy play usually in good fun. My mom often accused my brother and I of horsing around. They're They're horse popular. idioms. We have, don't look, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. Hoping it. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. This means don't be ungrateful or suspicious when someone gives you something. A friend said this to me recently, when I was talking about an offer that I got from someone to help me with my business, and I was a little suspicious. He said, you know, Rachel, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. This basically means you can't make people do what they don't want to do. Let's talk a little bit about the pronunciation. You can lead a horse. So the main verb here is the word lead. That means can is a helping verb, so we don't want to say can. We instead want to reduce that word to can, can. You can lead. You can lead a horse to water. But you can't make it drink. You might hear a CH sound happening between but and you, but you, but you. This can happen when the T is followed by the Y consonant, but you, but you but you can't make it drink. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Hoofing it means to be moving really fast, to be running somewhere. For example, I hoofed it to work because I overslept. Note that the double O here is pronounced as the U uh vowel, just like cook, book, and Brooklyn. Straight from the horse's mouth. Making hay. A Charlie horse. Straight from the horse's mouth means that you've heard something from the most authoritative or dependable source. For example, did you hear Jane is quitting her job? No way. Where did you hear that? From Jane herself. Straight from the horse's mouth. Making hay or making hay while the sun shines. This is to make the most of current opportunities. If you put doing something off, you may lose the opportunity to do it. For example, let's make hay and go for a run before it starts raining again. A Charlie horse. This phrase is used for muscle cramps in the legs. You might hear this phrase as you watch the Olympics this summer. I could eat a horse. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse, that's true. Did we say don't beat a dead horse? No. Don't beat a dead horse. Don't. I could eat a horse. Well, this means, of course, that you're very, very hungry. Notice the T at the end of the word eat links to the next word, a, uh, the schwa sound. So it's a flap T or a light D sound. Eda, eda, eda. I could eat a horse. Rachel, are you hungry? Yeah, I skipped lunch, so I could eat a horse. Don't beat a dead horse. You might say this to someone who can't let a situation go. If you think someone needs to accept things as they are, 
and they just keep talking about what if, what if. Then you might say, look, don't beat a dead horse. It's done. Don't put the cart before the horse. That's a horse of a different color. Don't put the cart before the horse. This means be patient and do things the right way, in the right order. Sometimes it's very tempting to do things out of order and skip ahead, but it doesn't always get the best results. Someone might say to you, do it right. Don't put the cart before the horse. A horse of a different color. That is when you bring something up that is unlike that which you are already talking about. For example, to me, writing and spelling are easy, but math, that's a horse of a different color. Meaning, to me, math is very hard. Oh, there are so many idioms with horse! Hold your horses! Hold your horses! That's a great one! Hold your horses. That means, hold on, be patient, stop what you've just started. It's among the most common of these horse idioms. Notice I'm reducing the word your to your, your. Hold your horses. Very old ones. This is a one horse town. Yep. Put a horse out to pasture. A one horse town is a small, maybe insignificant town. For example, he's very overwhelmed by the city. He comes from a one horse town. To put a horse out to pasture. This is when a racing horse is retired, but it can also be used with people when someone is forced to retire. For example, Larry is past retirement age. I think it's time to put him out to pasture. Wild horses couldn't drag him away. Oh, wild horses couldn't get the secret out of him. My my friend used that once recently. Wild horses couldn't drag him away. This is said when someone is very engrossed in or committed to something. Nothing can persuade him or her to leave or stop doing that thing. For example, are you watching the Mad Men finale tonight? Yes. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. A dark horse candidate, for example. A dark horse is someone who is more or less unknown, who emerges to a place of prominence or importance, usually in a competition. This is used quite a bit to describe a candidate in politics. After doing our idiom research, we went out to dinner and then made our way home. Although I can't really recommend riding a bike in the horse mask because essentially I could not see a thing out of it. <laughs> That's it. Thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Yeah. Don't stop there. Have fun with my real life English videos or get more comfortable with the IPA in this playlist. Learn about the online courses I offer or check out my latest video.